Lift truck operators are just like millions of other professionals who earn their living by operating equipment or vehicles. It takes skill, training, and experience. Realizing that no job on the ground or in the air can be done at the expense of safety. Remember, you're working on a piece of machinery that weighs about 9,000 pounds. With a load, it's on truck with a 24-inch load center will attempt to lift this 5,000 pound load. However, because of the unusual shape of the load, the center of gravity of the load is 30 inches from the face. turn. He hit a small pothole. This forms the stability triangle base. With the added dimensions of lift height, it forms a three-dimensional triangle similar to a pyramid. When the combined center of gravity stays within the triangle, the truck is stable. Move the center of gravity forward of the triangle, as when a load is too heavy or too high, the truck will tip forward. When you put your life in the hands of professionals, you do not want them to cut corners. Pilots, for example, use a checklist to do a pre-flight inspection before every flight. 99 times out of 100, everything checks out okay. But it is the pre-flight inspection that contributes greatly to safe air travel. It's the operator's responsibility to inspect the lift truck before the beginning of each shift and keep a written record. At times, this task may seem unimportant. However, 6.1% of accidents are caused by improper maintenance Please and file an operator checklist and report any defects to your supervisor in writing. If you're on the job and notice that your truck is unsafe to operate, park it and tag it out of operation. ...systems and low-hanging doorways. Electric trucks can also break by changing the direction of the forward reverse control lever. This is called plugging. It's a common way to stop the truck, although the foot brake is quicker and more dependable. Remember to stay inside of the driver's compartment at all times. Place your hands or feet on or outside of the overhead guard. Loading docks are busy places for pedestrians and equipment. On average, a lift truck may pass over a dock 100,000 times per year, so there are plenty of chances for accidents. Statistics show that over 7% of accidents happen. These are just a few of the many safety rules that must be obeyed to ensure a safe workplace. However, every place needs their own set of special safety rules. Your employer should have his own list. Practice. Liquid propane gas is a liquid that normally boils at minus 44 degrees Fahrenheit. But when stored in a high pressure cylinder and compressed 270 times, it stays liquid at room temperature. If released, the expanding gas can cause a serious frost burn when it comes in contact with unprotected skin. For this reason, eye protection and heavy gloves should always be used when handling. Really a series of individual cells joined together by lead connectors. Each cell has a positive post and a negative post. The cell is filled with a solution of sulfuric acid and water called electrolyte. Each cell generates approximately 2 volts of electricity. When it's time to recharge the battery, park the lift truck with the emergency. He squeezed the hydrometer too hard. This caused the electrolyte to spray up on his face. He immediately went to an eye wash station.
Luckily, he was trained on what to do. Place it near the charger, then pick up the freshly charged battery. It's hard to play the game when you're injured, so learn to do your best so we can all get home.